Sigma males are the rarest male personality type and often difficult to come across in the real world. They are elusive by nature, and as they are lone wolves, they rarely go out of their way to garner the attention of others. However, precisely because of their unique, often reclusive personality, Sigmas make fascinating characters to observe. That's why the Sigma male often appears more in television, video games and movies than he does in real life. Many of our favourite pop culture figures like John Wick and Han Solo are classic examples of the Sigma male in action. Their analytical way of thinking and idiosyncratic approach to getting out of trouble make them some of the most fascinating and inspiring characters to grace the screen. Today on Blogbox, we're going to take a look at another archetypal Sigma male in the form of Geralt of Rivia from the Witcher series, which includes the book series, video games and Netflix TV show. Let's dive into Geralt and uncover just what it is that makes him an archetypal Sigma male. Who is Geralt of Rivia? Geralt of Rivia is the main protagonist of the Witcher series. He is introduced to us as a monster hunter who uses magical powers that he possesses on account of his mutations. Throughout the series, we follow Geralt as he undergoes his training to become a Witcher and the trials and adventures he faces as he becomes a monster hunter for hire. So, he may be the protagonist of the story, but what exactly is in his character that renders Geralt of Rivia a Sigma male? Number 1. An Outwardly Cold Appearance To most people, Geralt of Rivia would come across as cold, uncaring and perhaps even cynical. As a character, he represents the overall tone that the entire Witcher series takes towards life and politics. Nothing particularly moves him, and he often sees the problems of the world as petty or superficial. However, as noted by Dandelion in the series, his cold exterior hides something deeper beneath. He is a fiercely loyal friend and even possesses good humour. Despite how he may appear on the outside, he is in fact not too indifferent to the suffering of others and does care. Because Sigmas are not outwardly attached to much in the real world and have a more rich internal experience of life, as opposed to external, they can often appear cold or indifferent towards others, even when the reality is far more complex. Geralt is a perfect example of this trait in action, as it takes time to get to know him and understand that there is more sensitivity to him than first meets the eye. Number 2. He's a Risk Taker as a Witcher, Geralt of Rivia is hardly a stranger to putting himself in the line of danger. In fact, this lies pretty much at the core of his existence. Being a sword for hire, Geralt of Rivia has dedicated his life to putting himself at risk in order to make a living. This is highly reflective of his status as an archetypal Sigma male, as Sigmas are known to be heavily inclined towards taking risks. Don't, however, make the mistake of confusing this trait with recklessness. Sigmas, including Geralt, take risks built on the confidence they have built up in their skill and ability to judge their environments. When a Sigma male takes a risk, he often knows there's a good chance of it paying off. Number 3. He is loyal to those close to him Even though he appears rather closed off and uncaring to the outside, Geralt is in fact fiercely loyal to those he cares about. As noted by Dandelion, behind his cold exterior there lies an intense loyalty, and this is something we see again and again throughout the series. He maintains several strong friendships, including Caldermain of Blavikin, Zoltan Shive, and of course Dandelion. Towards the people he loves, Geralt is protective and caring in the unassuming way that is oh so typical of Sigma males. Number 4. He learns from his past Mistakes are also important to me. I don't cross them out of my life or memory, and I never blame others for them. These words are from Geralt of Rivia and are a prime example of the attitude he takes towards making mistakes in life and are emblematic of the way in which he constantly manages to grow as he progresses. Sigmas love to analyse and improve and, as a result, they're not afraid of looking at their past actions and calling mistakes out for what they are. Geralt knows that taking responsibility for the mistakes he has made in the past is the only real way to ensure that he does not repeat them. 
a lone wolf through and through, he does not seek to externalize his own mistakes or place the blame on others. This strong sense of accountability and willingness to admit when he is wrong is definitely a Sigma male trait that we see in Geralt throughout the Witcher series. Number 5. He won't be forced into choices. A true Sigma, Geralt of Revia walks his own path. He's not one to be forced into making a decision that he does not agree with. And this is exemplified in his quote, If I have to choose between one evil or another, I'd rather not choose at all. He refuses to be backed into a corner and will always look for an alternative option if he doesn't like the ones that he's presented with. This is a highly Sigma trait, as Sigmas are known for their inventive and innovative nature for this very reason. Their refusal to play by the rules that others set out for them leads them to find creative new ways to handle things that operate outside of the expectations of those around them. Number 6. He doesn't give up Throughout the Witcher series, Geralt faces countless challenges and hurdles. Part of what sets him apart as a protagonist is his unwillingness to back down in the face of oncoming threat or difficulty. A true Sigma male, Geralt manages most of the time to embrace challenges as an opportunity for growth and doesn't back down when the going gets tough. While there are times at which he struggles to cope with his surroundings, as any human being does from time to time, he still always manages to bounce back and grow from his experiences. This is what keeps Sigma males moving forward in life. Being able to accept difficulty and using it as a learning exercise and an opportunity to prove yourself. Number 7. He doesn't care about the squabbles of others. The entire tone of the Witcher series is seen to possess a somewhat cynical anti-politics. This is said to be a reflection of the cultural zeitgeist in Poland at the time the books were written, the 1990s. Polish author Andrzej Sapowski used Geralt of Rivia as an embodiment of this apolitical stance. He is a professional who seeks to carry out his duties and is unwilling to get himself involved with the petty squabbling of his contemporary politics. This is a particularly Sigma male trait of Geralt, as Sigmas are very adept at understanding where the limits of their own influence lie. They know that they can only take control of themselves and their immediate environment and, as a result, do not like to concern themselves with the political quarrels of the world around them. Instead, they choose to focus on their own duties and self-improvement. Number 8. He is adaptable among the strongest fighters in the Witcher universe, Geralt is highly adaptable and learns quickly from his environment. Throughout the Witcher series, he is shown to be a quick-witted and capable fighter who is constantly looking to improve his own skills. He is a fast learner and takes lessons from his past experiences and mistakes. This is a trait shared by all Sigma males, as they keep an open mind and are always willing to learn from their past experiences in order to progress forward in life. Number 9. He is above the judgments of others. Because of his strength and confidence, many might assume that Geralt is an alpha male, but to make this assumption would be missing the point. A major difference between an alpha male and the Sigma is where they get their validation from. An alpha male needs others around him in order to achieve his status. The respect and command of those around him is what gives him the status of alpha. Sigmas, on the other hand, do not need anyone else around them in order to feel validated in their status. And we know this is because they do not operate within the traditional hierarchy of male dominance. Instead, they choose to work outside of it. This means that the judgments of others tend to mean very little to them. Geralt, as an archetypal Sigma male, is more concerned with how he judges his own actions as opposed to what those around him think. Now, if you're enjoying this look at how the Witcher's Geralt of Rivia embodies the archetypal Sigma, please make sure to take a second to hit the like and subscribe button. Liking these videos really helps our channel to grow and allows us to make more content. And finally, on to the number one reason Geralt of Rivia is an archetypal Sigma male. Number 10. He is independent. Geralt is, by profession, a sellsword. He travels from place to place hunting monsters for a price. 
And this nomadic freelance lifestyle is very typical of the Sigma male mindset. Sigmas don't like to be tied down, nor do they like to be micromanaged. As a Sigma male, Geralt is dedicated to remaining as independent as possible in all areas of his life. A true archetype of the Sigma male, there is a lot that can be learned from taking a look at Geralt. He is a beloved character within the franchise, owing to his aloof yet charming Sigma nature and dedication to his duties. Thanks for watching this Blokebox video on Geralt of Rivia. If you enjoyed, please do hit the like button and check out the rest of our channel for more videos on the Sigma male. And we'll see you next time.